so my name is ankush thavdi i am the founder of lanome technologies and uh, i have 10 plus years of experience with the it industry earlier i worked with the companies like uh, cognizant infosys then wipro lnt and there are some of the small best company i have worked previously as a part of it industry so it's been a long time that uh, I was there with the uh, I'm there with the IT industry and uh, I got a lot of exposure while working with the multiple technologies. So we provide the training on different technologies like starting from Oracle DB, then Rack database, uh, then we have Hadoop big data technologies that is related to the data engineering. Uh, then we provide the training on SQL Linux fundamental training, SQL PL SQL training and a lot of other trainings we also provide uh, under the umbrella of learnable technologies so the basic agenda to connect with this training is that we want to understand about the sql linux technology and why sql and linux why sql and linux is very very important so whenever i started my career as a um, it engineer and if you're coming from the computer background, maybe you have some of you people have done the BTEC, maybe some of the people have done the IT background. So those people, maybe they have completed the training or they have completed the graduation under SQL and Linux. So in our college time, we used to get trained for this technology. But there are certain people, they want to start their career into the IT industry. Maybe you are coming from the civil background or mechanical background, or maybe you are coming from any other background. So those people, they want to kickstart their career into the IT industry. So what is the way to start your journey into the IT industry? So in IT industry, we have a multiple technologies are available. Basically, all those technologies are getting splitted into the two part. So one part is a development part and another part is your administration part and third part if I take it then it will be your testing kind of things. So in development part like the people will talk about the development work like let's say you are becoming an Android developer now you nowadays you can see a lot of applications right. Uh, so those applications will be developed by the Android developer. If it is an iOS application which is related to the Apple or some other things, then it will be developed by the iOS developer. Then if you see any website, then that is being developed by the web developer. So likewise, we have multiple development field is there. Now, when you have a development field, you need to develop some code in the programming language. You should know the programming language. So most probably the, the people who are coming from the computer background or IT background, they are good with the programming because they are learning this technology from last college time itself. But those people who want to kickstart the career into the IT industry, but they don't know programming, like they don't know Java, C, C++, .NET, Angular, Python. These people are moving their career to the field like maybe Oracle DBA, Linux administrator, Citrix admin, backup, lot of administrators are there, even network. And nowadays cloud, in cloud also we have administration parts are there. And those people who don't want to go inside this administration part, they are thinking about the testing part. So in testing also nowadays, you need to write down the programming. So those days went where um, the expectation was you just need to do a manual testing. Nowadays, everything is getting automated. So you need to write down a Java code also if you are planning to go for testing. But if you think about all this technology, maybe you, you think about the development, if you think about the administration, if you think about the testing kind of careers, there are two technologies which are very, very common. And that two technologies are SQL and Linux. So everyone should be aware about the SQL and everyone should be aware about the Linux technology because that is the starting point. That is a starting point whenever you want to start your career into the IT industry. That is the starting point. 
so in our this training will be focusing on the technology called sql and linux these are the technologies that we are going to try to learn sql and linux so if you talk about any technology i'm telling you like if you want to go into the development still you should know this sql and linux any developer if you want to go into the administration part maybe you want to start your career as a oracle dba so still you should know this sql and linux if you want to start your career as a tester any tester still you should know sql and linux that is these two technologies are kind of fundamentals and that is the most necessary technology you should know so whoever who joined to this uh, training i hope you people are joining because you want to start your journey as a as in it industry maybe you are coming from mechanical maybe you are coming from bsc bca any background that's not a problem so sql and linux is the first technology that you should be aware and after that wherever you want to go it's your path if you want to go to the developer that's okay admin that is also fine tester that is also fine but you should know this sql and linux so let's talk about the sql first and then we'll discuss about the linux slowly slowly this is the way we are going to do now sql what is this this is called structure query language this is called structure query language now why we are using sql why we are using sql what is the purpose of using sql so what happened let's say you are a person who is going to the bank okay just take an example that this is the one person he is going to the bank your bank will ask you to fill up one form if you want to create account under the bank let's say you are going to the bank what you will do they will give you one form in that form you are going to enter your first name last name your address your aadhar card number all those things you will fill up and this form you will give it to the the banker person he will also fill up the same form into the computer and finally there will be one button will be there we call it as a submit button so same type of form you must be using same type of form you must be looking to the facebook account let's say you want to create one facebook account so that is also asking the same kind of details it will ask your first name last name date of birth gender all these details it will ask and finally there will be submit button so whenever you are filling up all this information that information should be going somewhere right after clicking on submit button that information is going inside a database that information is going inside a database so what is database database is a concept which will store your data a database is a concept which will store your data a huge amount of data will be stored in your database so in the currently market there are multiple databases are there okay like if you take the example of database you have a multiple databases are there like let's say example of oracle database we have a oracle database we have a mysql database we have a sql server database likewise we have multiple databases are there postgres sql is there multiple databases are there even if you are purchasing any laptop from the market the laptop provided by the multiple companies there will be a company from hp acer multiple companies are there so as per your budget and as per your review whatever you wish you are going to purchase so same way now companies will decide that they want to go with the oracle or they want to go with the mysql or they want to go with the sql server or any other database i am assuming that the people are using oracle database most of the market is consumed by the oracle only so if you take the example of your irctc if you take the example of sbi if you take the example of your zoom application the one which we are using right now all are using oracle database only for the storing of their data now 
what about the IRCTC? IRCTC is a ticketing tool. Like, uh, it, like if you want to go through the train, you are purchasing your ticket with the IRCTC, correct? So what happened? Like, let's say this is your, this is you. You got connected to the application. What will happen in terms of IRCTC? Let's say this is you. You got connected to the application called IRCTC application. Here you have booked one ticket. Let's say you want to move from Pune to Hyderabad. So you booked one ticket. You are booking one ticket and it will ask you to do the transaction. Let's say you need to make the transition of 1000 rupees. So that transactions will be recorded to a database. That database will be your, let's assume Oracle database. Now what this Oracle database will do? This Oracle database will create a small, small table in that Oracle database. There will be a table will be there like this. Let's say there is one table. We called it as a, there is one table is available under that Oracle database. We called it as a, let's say personal details, something like that. So there is one table is there with the name personal. And there is another table is there with the with the name ticket. So this table will store all the information about you like, okay, my ID is one, my name is Ankush and my age is XYZ something like that. So that information will be stored in the form of rows and column rows and column. Let's say here in this in this database, I have one table is there called employee table, employee table. So what is database? Database is the collection of tables. You will have multiple tables will be there. You will have multiple tables will be there. Now, if you take the example of Amazon application, just take an example of Amazon. And in Amazon also, you have a, this database is there. Let's say this is one database, Oracle database of Amazon database, Amazon application. So it will have a table like let's say one table will be there called product table. Okay. One table will be there called employee table. So in employee table, all the employee related information will be there. Like how the table will looks like the table will looks in the form of rows and column, how rows and column. So in the table, the data will be looks like this. Let's say I have one table is there called, I'm just drawing one table, employee table. And this employee will have ID, comma name, comma salary. Let's say there are three columns are there. What we are calling it as columns. We are calling it as a column. What that column will store? Let's say there are three employees are there. ID, one, two, and three. Name is, let's say Sagar. Nikhil and Ram and what is their salary 1000 3000 and 2000 now let's say this is my employee table and these are my rows first row second row and third row so if someone is asking you how many columns are there in this particular table there are three columns are there ID name and salary because their employee data, their employee data will be stored in the ID, name and salary. And how many rows are there? This is my row number one, row number two, and this is my row number three. There are three rows are available. And total things we are calling it as a table. So how is the structure? How is the structure looks like? The structure will looks like you have a database and under that database you can have multiple tables will be there like let's say there is one table called employee table so in employee table only employee related information will be stored there will be another table called product related table only product related information will be there like let's say there is a product id product name and their cost so if i want to tell you one example of product id is let's say one the name of your product is camera and the cost is 20,000. If I take the second example, two, second product is mobile and the cost is 15,000. So this is a product table. 
and employee table information will store the information about your only employees or let's say there is one more table is there called account table so it will have only account related information so basically a database can be anything so it can be your oracle database it can be your mysql database it can be your postgresql it can be anything but what is the use of sql sql is basically a way to talk to the oracle database to talk to the any database sql is structure query language now let's assume that i have this employee table is there and i want to get i want to select i want to see the data from this employee table so i'll fire a command like select star from table name if I fire this command select star from table name, I can see all the data of this employee table. And what is this query? This query we called it as a structure query language. So structure query language is basically a way to talk to the databases. It can be any database. So SQL is not your database. Okay, it's a language to talk to the database. When we are discussing something, we are talking in English, right? So that's a communication. That is how we are getting communicated to each other, right? So that is your language. Same way, SQL is a language to talk to your Oracle database. So this is a common language for discussing with any database. Now, if you take the example of, let's say you want to talk to the Oracle database, you want to talk to the Linux, you want to talk to the MySQL database or any other database. SQL is always SQL. So what I mean to say, when you want to select a data, when you want to insert some data into this table, when you want to delete some data into this table, you need to reuse this SQL language. And that is the reason we are learning this SQL. Now, what is the use of Linux technology, right? What is the use of Linux technology? So basically, before I go to the Linux part, you know, I'll tell you how the structure, uh, basically architecture of your database looks like. What will happen in real time production environment when you work as a, in the IT industry, what will happen? So basically you will have one server will be there. Okay, let's consider this is my server. Now there will be a question in your mind that what is server, okay? So if you don't understand server, you just simply try to understand that. Let's say I'm using Windows 11 machine, right? On this Windows 11 machine, I'm installing my software. So let's say I have one software called, what is the software we are using? We have a Zoom software is there. We have a Chrome Firefox, Chrome Firefox. Then we have multiple other softwares are available on my Windows 11 machine, right? Same way, you are going to install a database software also like Oracle. That is also one software. But in Windows 11 machine, what is happening? This is called client machine. So what is the use of this Windows 11 machine? Only one person can use at a time. Let's say I want to use Windows 11 machine, my Windows 11 machine. Only I can use that. You cannot connect to my Windows 11 machine because that is a client machine. But server is basically where number of users can connect simultaneously at a time. And on this server, you are going to install a database it can be your oracle database it can be of your mysql database it can be any database so basically you are going to install a database and what is this server most probably it will be your linux server if you are installing mysql or oracle the server can be of different different flavors like it can be linux server it can be windows server also windows is also server who is providing the windows windows server is provided by the microsoft company microsoft and linux is like it can be provided by red hat linux it can be by provided by oracle linux it can be centos it can be ubuntu it can be anything we have a different different flavors out there so we have a server and on this server we are going to install a database if it is a oracle database then this is my 19c 19c is the version of my oracle database so structure is same. We will have operating system. And on that operating system, you are going to install a software. 
and in order to talk to this database software in order to talk to the database we need to use sql then what is the use of linux if my server is linux operating system if my server is linux operating system you should know linux command you should know linux command that is very important if you don't know linux command you cannot survive and most of the time you will find that the people are using linux operating system only so if you take the example of any flavor like red hat linux oracle linux centos ubuntu anything but at the end the linux commands are same only if you know linux command on one operating system it will be same for other operating system also little bit change will be there here and there small small change but most probably 99% it will be same only so if you want to work as a cloud engineer maybe in future let's say you want to work on aws gcp azure anywhere you should know a linux command that is very important without linux command it's difficult to understand any technology because most of the time most of the time it will be available on your linux only so these two technologies are very important so whenever you want to let's say you want to create a folder you want to create a folder in linux in windows how are you going just right click and click there will be one button will be there let's go here right click new and folder and it will create a folder this is happening in windows but if you take the example of linux operating system then that is not going to work then that is not going to work you need to understand the linux so here you can see that i have a multiple machines are there if you see my laptop i have a multiple linux machines are there which we are using for our training purpose so i am giving a training on oracle database administration also even though we are learning oracle dba still there are two technologies we are learning one is linux and another is a sql that is a prerequisite site that is a prerequisite site to understand any technology that is very important even i am giving a training on hadoop also you can see here there is a one hadoop machine is there even though this is a different technology still sql and linux is very important because without that you cannot understand any technology both technologies are very very important so in our this training okay in our this training we are going to understand both the technology so this is a combo which i have started recently combo offer here we are going to learn both the technologies sql and linux both the technology and the cost of this training the cost of this training is very very cheap in the market that is just 4999 and we are going to cover all the concepts related to the sql and the commands which you are going to use in daily it industry not only specific to any particular databases so you if you understand linux you can use it anywhere or it will be 100 dollar in terms of usd so this is the batch which i am going to start here we are going to talk about each and everything even we are going to do and focus on installation also so we have this batch available online as well as offline both the location both the options are available offline is available in the pune location pune there is a location called wakad in that it is it is available even you can go to the uh, google map and there you can search with the learnomet technologies you will get the details over there just go to the google map and just go here and search it with the learnomet technologies you will see the location you can get the location from here and you can get the offline trainings also we are providing all the offline trainings as well as we are providing the same training online also okay so those people who are interested to join this offline as well as online training they can whatsapp or call us on plus nine one double seven five seven zero six two nine double five or email us on 
info at the rate learnomate.org the duration will be one month okay and this is a number where you can connect this is our official website if you want to know about our official website you can go to our website and this is our official website learnomate.org here this is our official website okay so if you have any questions uh, again you will get the recordings also okay recording will be available for three months of access okay all the like what i want what i want to do with this training is that this will be kind of workshop training so kind of workshop training means what commands i'm going to fire i'm expecting that everyone will fire after that me like if i'm firing some things let's say i fired select star from table name you also follow me along with me so that you know everyone will do a practice along with me only okay by any chance if you got stuck somewhere that's okay still you may have a recordings are available and we can take your control we'll fix the issues also okay so that is what we are going to do so this will be completely real-time sql linux fundamental training where we'll be focusing on everything okay So there is one question that I want to learn the Oracle DBA from you. Uh, what are the chances of getting a job after? See, chances and all those things are depend upon your the efforts. How are you going to how are you going to put the efforts? Okay. Yesterday also one of my candidates she got placed in uh, Cognizant. Day before that one person got selected in uh, Capgemini. So there are many people they got selected into the IT industry that is all depending upon how you are practicing yourself and uh, how you are, you are putting the efforts the calls are coming there is no problem with the calls and we have a very good feedback uh, from our uh, student I can see that and the best part like what you can see that if you go to our YouTube channel let's say you are going to our YouTube channel and this this is our youtube channel if you go here you can see that we have 14000 people are there who are following us 14000 it's a huge count with respect to, to the uh, specific to this technology wise it's a huge count 14000 so why they are following us because we are providing the base content okay and we have a lot of videos are also available on our website as well as here so this is a golden opportunity which we are starting and that to in very uh, like waste less price so those people who are thinking that they want to initiate their career into the it industry they can enroll to this training okay and uh, you can whatsapp on this number and you will get the payment details and everything okay after three months the video access will not be there why we are limiting the video access because daily we are taking a, like every month a batch new batch is getting started we are keeping that uh, on our cloud platform and cloud is also having some restrictions so we cannot keep a recording for a longer time uh, because our storage is getting full that is a problem that because of that only uh we are keeping it for three months okay but if people are uh, requesting for longer duration uh, like little bit we can extend that that's not a problem so if you guys have any question queries you can unmute related to the training and you can talk to me Sir, when you will start we'll start immediately uh, as soon as we get uh, we already got few admissions okay. and this was just a kind of demo i thought like okay let's start it uh, we'll start immediately maybe in one week or maybe in two three days we'll so we'll start okay. Okay, okay fine will not take much time uh uncle sir yes 
Rachid Parik. I am asking about a DBA program. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what is the opportunity in market for DBA program? Opportunities are good only. Okay. For any technology, if you take the example, opportunities are good only. Actually, I am a PLS skill developer. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, I really I want I wants to learn a, a DBA also. I want to be a DBA also this field. So I know Linux, uh, no, uh, I know Linux and PLSQL, but uh, DBA is different part of this. No, DBA is a different. DBA is basically a next part of SQL and Linux. Okay. Okay. So you are already a PLSQL developer. And if you think that you have a knowledge on SQL and Linux, you don't need to join this training. You can directly join our Oracle DBA training part. Okay. We are starting our new batch from 1st of December. Okay. okay so you can enroll to that training also if you want to know more about that training you can visit my website go to here there is click. one oracle dba syllabus is there click on here scroll it down here you can see all the details like syllabus and everything and if you scroll it down you can here you can see one demo is also i have explained like what is dba what we are doing and everything Ad advanced level dba i need to know because little bit dba knowledge i have also uh, I, I have seen most of your videos very good videos you make very good videos and lots of uh, video i have checked but uh, i i think i need a i have little bit knowledge about dba yeah? but i need a extra advanced level knowledge no i think you should uh, I'm not sure whether you know the knowledge about the Oracle data guard, ASM patching, upgradation. Okay. Yeah, I know, I know they all of, I know. So uh, you know how to install Oracle data guard. And yeah, everything. I know, I know. Then you can go for the rack database training directly. Rack database, RAC. Yes, RAC. That is a Oracle only. That is a high availability concept of Oracle DB. That's why I'm asking you, I, I need an advanced level Oracle data training, DB training. So I'll tell you one thing from my experience. Many people are coming to me and they are saying that they know the things. But when it comes to the training, then they realize that it's up to you again. Okay. So, think in that way. Okay. Any more question, guys? You will get the completion certificate also like this, uh, the course completion certificate. Okay. Hi, Ankush. Yes. Uh, good evening. Yes. Basically, how it will be in the companies? Will they be using, uh, will they be recruiting Oracle DBA, means the core DBA or the people who will be having knowledge on Oracle code, like Oracle rack in general? If you're showing three plus years of experience, they are expecting that you should have a knowledge about uh, rack also. And if you're showing less than three years, then Oracle DB is fine. Thank you so much, Angus. And what will be the salary range for less than three and above three? That is all depend upon person to person. And uh, like, this is not a government job, right? So here, nothing is like fixed. No, One person yeah, can have 10 lakhs also, another person can have 20 lakhs also. Yeah, uh, basically I am into uh, middleware. Right. Mm -hmm. Middleware is a very old technology. Yeah. Uh, I just want to learn this also to extend my support. Uh, I have many people, they are coming in my Oracle DB, especially from the uh, testing, uh, then SQL, PL, SQL people. Uh, SQL Server. Uh, currently, I have one person. He's uh, MySQL DBA, uh, middleware. Yeah, that, these are the very common technologies people who are coming to Oracle. Because uh, the thing is, like, as soon as your experience keep on increasing, uh, you should also think about the cross-platform technologies, like uh, two databases. You should know. So that's how they are trying to keep updated themselves. Sir, as a fresher, how the DBA is useful? I passed just recently 22 batch. Any one minute. So we'll discuss about the DBA in my demo. So you can go here and check, think about the. So you can see, watch this Oracle DBA. Basically, I did not uh, like this. <laughs> my main focus is SQL Linux. Okay. So those people who want to enroll, they can reach out to us on this number. Even our number is available. 
here on website also if you scroll it on the top here also you can get our number and whatsapp number everything okay you can directly click here and get collect to our whatsapp all right guys then yeah thank you so much for joining okay so we'll start in next two three days those people who are interested to join this sql linux fundamental training you can reach out to us thanks uh hello yes actually i want to ask about the physical classes uh is it available on saturday and sunday it's available it's available okay and about the timing we have a flexible timings are available okay once you confirm your admissions we'll let you know okay okay sure. we have on we have morning batches evening batches weekend batches uh, different different batches are there so whatever time suits to you uh, even if we have online offline all the options are available so it's up to you wherever you want to fit you can join any more questions guys any last question if anyone have about this training yeah hi this yes yes yeah this day we are seeing that lot of vulnerabilities are available in the market so this will be covered in the linux trainings lot of what is that uh, the vulnerability the security is part of the lag you might be heard about the log for j and everything no basically see my target is not uh, to, like i'm not making you linux administrator okay mm -hmm. i am making you I, that is the reason we have given the name like sql linux fundamental training why we are giving fundamental because those things which are necessary to survive into the it industry with respect to any technology that that is the reason we are taking this training okay even no. my focus is not like those people who want to come into the oracle dba this training is very important without that they cannot understand oracle db that is the reason i am not going to cover the administration part see there is one more training is there in linux that is called rhl training so those people will discuss about all those things okay in rhl training you, you are covering this part the no we are not covering we are, we are not taking rhl training oh okay thank you